and see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Hello everybody, it is MSMV1 here. And welcome to the glorious world of Fallout New Vegas! Yes, I'm going to be doing a little playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. Only reason is because it is so fun. Fallout games have always been one of my favorite games, even though I've only played Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. It's, they are such fun games, and I really, really wanted to share the enjoyment with you guys. Um, as, again, the games are really fun. You can literally do almost anything in the games, I except for creating your own things. Yo, but that's, you know, yeah, Minecraft for that. But basically, I do not want to keep rambling on about how great this game is. I'm just going to get right to the game. So, we're going to choose a name here. How's about we call this character... Masha. Oh, sorry. Masha. God damn it, where's the capital M? Masha. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Masha. Or Masha, what, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, why not? Wait a minute. That's a female's name. I can't say it. Oh shit! It's a it's a female. Well, 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 well. There's some. I I. Well, hi, Doc Mitchell. Uh, thank you. All right. So you want a payment? Well, if you want a payment, I just got shot in the head, you moron. Do you think I have money? How'd you do? And uh, now this is basically the longest part of the game. Yes. Making the character. All right, I'm not gonna bore you guys, so I'm just gonna quickly get uh, get this uh, ov under with. All right, over with, not under with. Um, so I will see you guys once I've created a character. Hey, who wants who wants to make Pagan Min, huh? No, nobody. Uh, okay, then 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 no Pagan Min then. All right, guys, here's our beautiful little character. Uh, I just. Oh, he has a big nose. <laughs> That's okay, we'll call him Big Nosed Masha! Hell yeah, it's Big Nosed Masha. <laughs> okay, he has hazel eyes. Yeah, he has a nice hair, pretty nice. Okay, it's, yeah, I, I like his beard as well. He looks, he looks normal. He's big, he, he has a big nose, but that's okay. Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure that this is what I want. Well, all right. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Oh God! Oh Let's no! If we can get you on your feet. Ah! Everything is so blurry. Oh. Good. All right. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Okay. Over by that bigger tester machine there. Over there is that that vending now. machine? It ain't a race. I'm sorry. I think I think you're mistaken. That's a vending machine. Anyway, I always like to walk slowly at this part because I, I want to seem like... Okay, let's see if, if my eyes are intact. Okay. Alright, first one's H, then there's SN, JTU, QFNZ, CNDVY? Uh, oh god. Um, E-L-E-W-Y-A... And, yeah, I, ca I can't, no, I'm sorry. Uh... Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. Okay. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculty. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and check that out. All right. Okay. Now what I do is take all the points down. I'm pretty sure this is most of what you guys do as well. Just take all the points down and then all right, let's review. Everything is on 1. That's very Oh, I can just do this. Oh, that saves up a lot of time. What I do is I put my luck up to 8, but I usually make my character very intelligent. But, this time we're going to try something new. So, I think, usually my strength on all my characters are like is like 3, but we're going to make this character pretty strong. This is the average, average Joe I think it was called. Our perception is very important. 
Uh, I really, I really enjoy your perception. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be normal in charisma. We're quite nice. We're gonna be very dur and durable. Our agility is going to be quite high, and our we aren't going to be intelligent. I'm afraid we're not as intelligent as we could be. We are extremely lucky. The reason I'm not putting it at ten or nine is because there are books. There, uh, there's a perk in this game, which allows you to increase your any of your special attributes by two points. Uh, well, there's something that can put up your uh, luck up by two, and then it becomes ten. Because if if you have ten, then what's the point in having those things that can put up your special attributes? So I think this looks good. Um, so he's average uh, strength. He's quite perceptive. He's quite endurable. He's all right, I guess. He's not, I guess, a bad person to hang out with. He's not very. He's not very smart, but he's not completely dumb. Um, he's very agile. Well, not very agile. He's he's agile, but he's extremely lucky. And since this is New Vegas, we're probably gonna want to get be lucky. All right. There we go. With luck like yours, I'm surprised them bullets didn't just turn right around and climb back into the gun. <laughs> That's so funny! <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Wow. You, Doc Mitchell really wants to know that all this stuff is his because he's like, why don't you sit down on my couch? My! Alright, so we're just gonna sit down. Um. Oh. All right. I wanted to look around. I'm gonna say a word. Okay. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Okay, I like this game. Dog. Cat. All right. House. Uh. Demolish. Night. Dream. Bandit. Stab. Light. Dark. Mother. Uh. Cookie jar. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. All right. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Okay, so this is gonna be... I, I want this character to agree on that. I ain't given to relying on others for support. He's gonna disagree to that. I disagree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. I strongly agree. This isn't what I would say. Right here, I would say disagree, but this character, <laughs> Masha, God, he really agrees to that. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. He's going to agree on that because he's not exactly smart. Actually, no, he he's he, he has a four intelligence. He's okay, but no opinion. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Uh, strongly agree. Almost done here. All right. What do you say you have a look at this? Okay. Hey, tell me what you see. I never understood what that is. How do you people see a broken chain in this? Okay, I could kind of see a chemical reaction. A shadow in a doorframe? No. Okay, an oozing wound. Uh, an angry two-headed ant? Oh God, how do you people see that? No, I think I'm going to say a chemical reaction. Okay. How about this one? Now, some people say this. I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. Well... How do you see that? I... Okay, I see a priceless work of art. Last okay, now this one's... This this can be any one of these. A head on a pillow. A mushroom cloud, yes. A bearded man, there are the eyes, and there's the beard. A light to the darkness, I guess... I guess that also is pretty good. But I think I'm gonna say a bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. Who's she? I don't have nothing to compare it to. Who's she? You better just have a look at the results. Okay. See if it all seems right. Okay, now this is basically where we start developing our character. It got explosives wrong. Now, usually when I play Fallout, I want my character to be a very scientific person. But, since our intelligence is not that high, we're not going to be scientific. However, I always put my speech up because speech is quite important to me. But... I think I'm gonna put up sneak this time because I want to see I want to see how sneak will play along in this game 
Because it is like Skyrim. When you sneak attack someone, it takes more... The, the person takes more damage. So I'm going to keep it as sneak. I'm going to put on sneak. Mm. Uh, guns... <sighs> but lockpicking is quite important, though. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it on lockpick. I've never really put it on lockpick, but I I did realize that lockpicking is actually quite important. So lockpicking it is. So basically we are a good lockpicker, we are quite stealthy, and we know how to talk. So that's what we shall be. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. Okay. We got a form for you to fill out, so All right. sense of your medical history. Okay. Just a formality. Oh my god, Dr. Mitchell, you're so funny. Oh my god, you're the best doctor in the world. You make such good jokes. Okay. Well, for these you can you can pick none of none of these because they do have downsides to them. Uh, but what I usually take is trigger discipline, which is basically while using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more slowly but are 20% more accurate. I think that's worth it. And then, there is also hot-blooded. Where is it? Um, when your health drops below 50%, you gain plus 10% more damage, but you also suffer minus 2 to your agility and perception attributes. Who's to say that my health is going to drop below 50%? So that's why I always take hot-blooded. Alright. Are we done now? Woohoo! Uh, no, I don't, I don't, I don't like to. I like, I'd like... Shot! <laughs> Look at that nose! That's actually quite a big nose. Nothing wrong with be having a big nose. If anything, that makes sense, because he has a high perception, so he can smell from very far away. Okay, so, uh... I guess that about does it. Um... I, I still like to walk in this point, because... It, why are we... What the hell? Where are your toes, man? Where are your toes? Are you guys seeing this? Where are his toes? Oh my god, my character doesn't have toes. Camera. So, what I do here is basically I steal everything he has. So, first aid box, Radex, stim packs, bunch of useless stuff. More stim packs and a bobby pin, quite important. Well, not important, but stim, pa stim packs are quite good. Bottle caps, why not? Ammunition boxes, I'll take all the ammo because ammo doesn't have um weight cram i don't think i need cram pork pork chops i don't think so um let's see okay i'm just wasting time by walking what 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 the heck why is my okay my caps lock was kind of acting up nine millimeter round business wear Ooh, this could be nice I don't have a pip boy yet. Uh Okay, there's nothing right? Okay, there's nothing here yet. Uh Ah, let's drink out of the toilet. Yes. Perfect. I love doing that. I don't know why. Let's just close the door here. Let's see what the refrigerator has. Whiskey! Woohoo! Whiskey is quite good. Okay. Not really, but uh, because you can get addicted to stuff here in this game, and that's not very good because then you take damage if you don't take enough of the thing you're addicted to. You could get addicted to, uh, well, any drug. I I don't think you can get addicted to stim packs though. If I'm wrong, please tell me, because I tend to be wrong. Now this room, <laughs> this room has a lot of stuff in it. Okay, there's blood bags, there are medics. There's even a broken 9mm submachine gun. Now, unfortunately, our repair skill is not high enough. But, if we do... Oh my god. My friend wants me to play Minecraft. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Repair of 25 or greater. We don't have that, so unfortunately we can't do this. And here is a chemistry set. Unfortunately, we need a science of 25 or greater. And we can't do that either, so... Yes, so far it does sound like our character is pretty crap. Oh, doctor's back. I did not know that was there. But don't worry. This guy is is going to be good. Ooh, today's physician. 
so those are basically the books I'm talking about. You can pretty much uh, increase your uh, things. I'm not sure what, though. W well, yeah. Of course I'm sure what. Oh, I'm silly. So that's Stimpax. Anti-Venom is actually more imp uh, useful than I thought. Anti-Venom basically prevents you from getting poisoned. Uh, knife. No one needs that. Gun case. Why not? I'm not gonna take the laser pistol, but I can sell it, so I'm gonna sell it. Now, by the way, you might notice that I've already started off with some crap here. Like this, and like this, broad machetes, and I think I even have, yeah, throwing spears, and weather 10mm pistols. You're not supposed to start off with those, but the thing is, is that I have the, uh, the DLCs. I bought the uh, Master Pack. No, I think it was called the Ultimate Pack. And that's why I'm getting all these stuff. But don't worry, I'm going to sell all those things to the shop to get some bottle caps because I do find it kind of cheating because the caravan shotgun, the sturdy caravan shotgun, is actually a pretty good weapon. Okay, let's... Here, these are yours. All right. Was all you had on you when Ooh. you brought in. Okay, so I did I have some money. It, I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. Okay. But it was just something about a platinum chip. All right. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. Yes, we got a big boy. boy. Thank you. I grew up in one of them vaults and made before the war. We all got one. That's good. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. <laughs> I know what it's like having something taken from you. But it's. And but the platinum chip too, wasn't so mine don't originally. Pick on you for lack of modesty. <laughs> don't worry, I have business you know, wear. My style anyway. I've, I'll, I have business wear. Okay, um, now we can either be a kind person who says thanks for patching me up, Doc. We could be a rude person. You shouldn't have gone through my stuff. Or we can just be the neutral person. I'll be the neutral person. You should talk to what should I do now? Before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. All right. She'll likely be at the saloon. I Got it. Some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. All right. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. Absolutely. Try not to get killed anymore. Oh my God, you're so funny, Doctor. Oh, that wasn't fun. Oh, that wasn't joke. Oh, sorry. Okay. Hardcore mode, no thank you. Just for the sake of you guys not seeing me die over and over and over and over again, unless you guys want to see me do that, but no. Well, thanks. Quest added. They went that away. But before we exit this door, I am going to say goodbye to you for now, guys. Well, I hope you guys are excited as much as I am to go through the world of Fallout New Vegas and see what things we will experience and what quests will go on and all those things. But for now, I will say goodbye to you all. Um, stay tuned for more episodes to come of Fallout New Vegas. And I will see you all in the next episode of Adventuring Through Fallout New Vegas. Bye-bye!